Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Archaica. This is Titanic, and I'm here at my base. And today, um, I know I haven't posted a video in... Well, I have posted videos, but that was like some pre-recorded footage. I have not uploaded... I have not officially recorded a video since Christmas Eve, so well over a week. So, today... <clears throat> um, I'm gonna show you things around the base, you know, show you what's up, um, and then I'm gonna go around and do some work, and then we might even take a trip to spawn and show you what's going on there. So, today's gonna be a little bit of a possibly long episode. So I guess what I should start with, this guy over here, uh, if I can get up. So this is a pig statue I built, and this area back here, it was kind of barren, and I wanted to do something with it, so I said, why don't I put a gigantic pig here, and I did, and I, I think it looks pretty good. Um, next episode, um, we're going to name him. Yeah, we're going to name this pig. I already have a name, so that'll be good. Um, chicken farm. I added in more chickens, and it's working good. I came in here the other day, and it had almost a full stack of chicken in it, which was surprising. And I've got this. It's kind of a game of Where's Waldo, except it's Where's the purple sheep and the gigantic crowd of pink sheep. Anyway, yeah, I used all these guys, and... Uh, sheared them for the pig. That took a while. Yeah. And then, this doesn't look like significance, this just looks like, oh, Titanic, you're really lazy and you didn't, you know, cover up your holes. This is a hole I do not want to cover up right now. And I'll get to that in a minute. About, um, future plants. Yeah, I love talking about future plants. But actually, there's some that caught my eye at the beginning of the video that I want to go check. I had a couple people over at my base on Christmas Eve, and I don't know, we kind of had like an impromptu party. Things were done, and then John came over, and damn it. Well, Mr. Freeze is gone. That's not good. I need to, uh, fix that, but I'm not gonna right now. Um, inside, not much has changed. I did update the map to, uh, factor in the pig. Other than that, there's not really much else new around here. Um, armor doing okay, I guess. Um, my helmet broke. Uh, <laughs> So, um, I have to use that one. But anyway, yeah. So you can see there's the pig, sheep farm, and everything else is pretty much the same. Oh, and apparently, well, you know, like over this past week, um, Billy Jean, yeah, he grew up. Like, now he's a nice, full grown zombie pigman. Yeah, you can see him right up there. Yeah, he's just chilling in there. All fully grown and stuff. Um, so yeah, not much has changed in here. Um, so the first thing that... Oh, I should probably go visit Spawn as well. So let's just sleep here real quick. Um, Toby and Callum have both been a little busy. Um, this past uh, couple days and they're pretty much gonna they're doing stuff with spawn and it's gonna be pretty cool um, I do need to so I'm gonna I, I've been like you know helping them like terraform and stuff but they're building the iron foundry um, if you don't know what the iron foundry is, it is a massive, um, iron farm developed by Tango Tech. 
and it's created by him. And essentially you can get somewhere around the lines of 1700 iron per hour. So that'll be fun. Um, the only problem is like you can't place any doors around the area once it's done. Otherwise you'll like mess it all up. Um, nether hub, not changed much. Toby has however been working on his tunnel and I think this looks pretty sweet. He's got yellow clay, orange stained panes, quartz, glowstone, and uh, cyan clay that goes all the way down this tunnel and then he has I think two of these little horse stops. Um, those signs are... Tom hasn't been on since the Team America prank so, you know. So let's go through the very loud nether portal. And you can instantly see, BAM! Framework for the Iron Fender. Yeah, so they haven't begun construction on it yet, but that's... Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit. Um, a couple villagers here. I've been trading with some of these guys, like, you know, there's 20 coal for an emerald and there's 18 wool for an emerald, which is easy for me. And then we've got two villager breeders. I don't know why. I don't really care. All I really want is like, uh, all I really want at my base is like oh, some villagers that can actually, um, I can trade like random stuff to them for emeralds. Oh, didn't get a chicken. And then I think they were using this as an x-ray machine. Just because, you know, it's kind of, yeah. Uh, a couple trees here. And then um, from the Christmas tree, this is like all the chests and stuff from that. Um, I also apologize in advance if I sound a little weird. I guess the stuff from the, uh, I guess the stuff from the uh, KFC. You know, I'm going to have to talk to Toby because... This thing, like, yeah, it's here. It's been here. It's the only remaining structure left in, like, around spawn. And there's, like, a couple of houses and stuff. Oh, I almost forgot to show you. So, I'm part of this. Uh, Richard Johnson, Double D. <laughs> I don't know, David and I, you know, we kind of, we were kind of, you know, fooling around. And we found a zombie village. A baby zombie villager right over by his uh, house so uh, named him Richard Johnson and we put him in this pen and I think he looks pretty cool I don't know I, I hope that like he's gonna be here and I'll make sure of it he's gonna be here until spawn is until we redecorate spawn with the stupid iron foundry um, but anyway as I was saying um, you can't place any doors around here, which is going to be difficult. So I think I'm going to... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go portal jumping. And I'm going to try and find a good spawn. And then we can, you know, build a hub around it again. And we can just kind of, you know, go from there with a new spawn. And I'll probably have, you know, like a business district, a housing district... It'll be kind of like a, you know, city, pretty much. And um, I'm going to do a lot of work there. Um, store hasn't really changed. Um, somebody last night, like, I saw it, and it was probably Callum. But um, <laughs> it said dollar and imperializing shack. And I thought that was funny. Uh, um, th this is a little prank, too. I gave Callum a discount voucher for the coal exchange. Uh, for Christmas, and it was kind of a joke. <laughs> um, let's see. Order log? Nothing new. Um, I have a contract with Toby on, um, nine wither skulls. And I don't really, uh, I, I, don't, I don't really want to do it. So I'm thinking maybe I should revoke the um I, I think maybe I should revoke the uh 
gathering of wither skeleton skulls from the resource runner shack. Are they really? Oh no, they're underground. I was gonna say, like, what the hell? <laughs> Three skeletons in the water. That's. You know what? This is gonna bother me. This is really gonna bother me. Uh, whatever. No, uh, I'm just. Uh, I'm gonna leave Toby and Callum too, because, you know, it's it's their big project, and I don't want to impede. So, um, for today, I do have all the of all of the ingredients. Um, for today's episode. So, let's get the ball rolling. So, the first thing that we were going to do today is name this guy, but I have two name tags. Okay. Only five levels. And Mr. Freed is dead. But, I think I'm just going to make another snowman, but not name him yet. Or maybe not even name it at all. Name it all. But give him a name bleh, at all. So yeah, that. Um, Callum. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna remake the snowman, which shouldn't take too long. It just requires me to, you know, grab more snow, grab another pumpkin. Maybe I should have like a reserve of snowmen for like when this happens. I, I don't even know how he died, come to think of it. Like, is there a hole in the roof or something? I left my door open. Um, I'm gonna check it real quick. Somebody probably just killed him. Which is not nice. No? Apparently, he just died. Just straight up died. Okay. Um, how do I get out of here? Okay. Let me get rid of this. And snow. Snow. Let's go up a couple blocks. And let's close this. Oops. Hi. There we go. There we go. There you are, buddy. And now he can make snow for us again. Alright. So, new snowman. But we are going to name the iron golem inside of the, uh... Inside of the, um... Nether prison. <coughs> so... I'm gonna do that. And while I'm doing it, I'm gonna talk to you guys about a couple things. So I guess the first thing I want to talk about is I have a friend, okay? She's, you know, pretty nice. Um, and she, you know, is kind of, you know, new on YouTube and she kind of, you know, wants people to watch her and have her make uh, content. So I'm going to put a link to her channel in the description. Go check her out. She has a lot of ideas for good videos, but she needs, you know, support first. Um, and, you know, she's on social media and stuff, so I need to figure out a name. Let's see, we have Billie Jean outside. Should I go with, like, a Billy theme for my base? I think I will. This guy will be named Billy Bob. <laughs> Billy Bob the Iron Golem. Uh, I come up with the weirdest names sometimes. So, <coughs> let me think. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is future plans for the base in Archaica in general. So, Archaica, like, we're making room. Well, we did make room, I should say. We made room for new people to join the server. There we go, Billy Bob. <laughs> um, so we did make room 
for people, and we lost three people. We removed Rich, Meg, and Jamal. Now, I never talked to these guys at all, so, you know, I didn't really know them, and that's saying something. I've been on the server for three months, and if they haven't been on for three months, then, you know, that's kind of bad. So, yeah. <coughs> so, future plans for Archaica, I'm just gonna, you know, chill. Um, I have an idea, maybe I should build a new base. Um, you know, nothing to, well, not something extraordinary, definitely. I want to build, like, you know, a good, you know, really awesome base. And I had an idea. I'm not sure if anybody's done this yet. But what if I were to make my base prison? Because, you know, I'm the kind of guy that likes all of the oddities in Minecraft. Like, I was the one who came up with the idea to capture the uh, baby zombie villager at spawn. And, you know, I captured baby zombie out here. And I've constantly been on the lookout for the baby zombie chicken jockey. But... I haven't found it yet. <coughs> so, I'm thinking maybe I should make, like, a bigger base. Like, but it'll, but, like, I'll still have all my stuff inside of this house. But, you know, I'll make, like, a, a, a home away from home. Like, a home kind of away from home, but in walking distance of my home. Kind of. Like, and then. But anyway... So the prison, essentially, would be kind of like the cops and robbers prison. Whereas, wherein it would have, you know, like a bunch of different stuff. But it would be missing, you know, some stuff from that. So, like, you know, there wouldn't be, like, a gigantic catwalk leading outside from the top floor. Or there wouldn't be a basketball court. You know, there would be practical things. Like, you know, mess hall for, you know, storing all my food. Or a library, and I can put all my enchanting stuff in there. And, like, warden's office can be, you know, like, my bedroom. You know, stuff like that. And, um... My god, shut up, street. I'm trying to record here. Anyway. <coughs> so... Yeah, I'm trying to come up with a design for the prison, but I'm just having very little luck right now. So I might have to, uh... I don't know, I... The only reason I want to do a prison, I originally wanted to do a castle, but castles are kind of overdone, and I want to do something unique for my base. And I think that a prison would be kind of funny. Um, I might even try to get a ghast in there. And he would be like, you know, the madman prisoner. He'd be the one, you know, always yelling at you and, you know, stuff like that. He'd be, you know, the kind of guy to, like... <coughs> and, like, I would make sure that, you know, he's, he's probably wind up in solitary confinement, so, yeah, um, future plans for the base, I currently have only one major project I want to do, and that's a string farm, because I haven't made, like, a string farm before, well, I haven't made any of these farms before, except for, you know, like, the generic ones outside for potatoes, Wheat and sugar cane. Um, oh, and also Ethan wanted to... Well, no, somebody was going to build a library at spawn. And Ethan was going to be the librarian. Um, but nobody has yet. So, um, I think I'm just going to... I don't know, I might donate to him and help with that. Anyway, so the hole over here... The, you know, one I said I was too lazy to just cover up. No, this is, this has meaning. This has a lot of meaning to it. Because, like, I wouldn't dig just straight down for nothing. Nope. I would not. This hole leads down to a mine shaft that leads to a cave spider spawner. That I, you know, really, I'm going to turn it into a string farm. The only thing, and this is what is really bothering me, 
is the fact that I don't know a good way to, you know, like, begin to go underground at this base. Because, like, everything is above ground. You know, nothing is really below ground here. Um, not even, you know, like, any of the redstone for the tree farm now. None of it's underground. It's all, you know, above ground, on platforms like this, or just on the ground. So I haven't built underground here yet. The closest thing is when I did beacon mining right in the center of my base, down. Um, I just did, you know, like, the standard beacon mining for, um, you know, like, ethos idea. Um, I'm thinking maybe I should find another wither. Because currently my beacon is at, um, the Megataga, where I found all my pods all. Um, and I'm using that area for branch mining right now. But, um, another thing I need to do with the base is I need to go around and I need to put in more of these street lamps. Because it is dangerous out here at night. Like, holy hell. You, you cannot get a day's, you cannot get a night's break. So, I'm gonna do that. Uh, probably off camera. Until then, um, I think that's going to be it for today. It's been kind of a talky episode, but we did, you know, replace the snowman, name Billy Bob, take a tour around my base and spawn. Um, so yeah, Iron Foundry. Not sure how long that's going to take. I'm also not sure how long um, it's going to be until I actually start building the prison. But until then... Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you want more of these videos. And I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to check out me. Um, well, don't forget to check out my friend in the description. And, um, you know, make sure that you are sticking around because we're going to have a lot of cool projects going on in the near future. And um, I'd be happy to, you know, show them on camera. So, peace out, everybody.